We've got Frankie Valley. They're, they're and very the... noisy, the Jersey boys. Oh, yeah, we're a Morning rabble. Jersey we can't boys. stop talking. Right? We're a rummage sale. <laughs> Good morning, all. We have Ryan, Stephen, Philip, and Glenn. Good morning to you. The award winning Good Jersey morning. boys, we yes. should say. Yeah. Because yes. you've just won an Olivier. Yeah, which, yeah. Which is a big deal. Isn't it? Yeah, best musical. We we picked it up on Sunday. I mean, it was you know it was a great achievement. We've been working so hard for a year, and uh, yeah, it's nice. You know, it's heavy. It's a little Lawrence of Olivier with a crown on. It was good. Lovely. Feels like something special. That's yeah. good. Well, we'll be talking to you about that and more on the Josie Boys shortly. But uh... welcome back. It's been compared to Mamma Mia for the number of hits <laughs> that will have you dancing in the aisles. But that's probably where the similarities end. Uh, Jersey <laughs> Boys. <laughs> has proved it's in a league of its own after winning the Laurence Olivier Award for Best New Musical. Yes, and as you said, not for wearing lycra. The production, <laughs> which celebrates its first anniversary tomorrow, traces the life of 1960s group The Four Seasons. They wrote all their own songs, invented their own unique sounds, and sold 175 million records worldwide, all before they were 30. Well, we'll be speaking to our Fab Four men uh, playing the talented ar artists in just a moment. But first, here they are playing The Four Seasons. <laughs> Stop talking this. No, lot. they're we very just will not lethal this stop morning. Yeah. The Jersey Boys. They are Ryan Malloy, Stephen Ashfield, Philip Bullcock, and Glenn Carter. Good morning, all. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. You're very gleeful for this time of day. Is it on the wrong side of the day for you? Gleeful. That's yeah. good. Yeah. 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 You have a like, little Santa Clauses. We love it. Yeah. <laughs> so you are Frankie Valley. I am. I am the V man. And the others are the three seasons. Yeah. Three seasons. So yeah. how did that happen? Because actually, you were originally the, I'm four the shortest. Seasons. But the, yeah. So yeah. it was originally yeah. the four lovers, yeah. weren't they? Yeah. And then you were the Four Seasons. We were the Village Voices. Oh, yeah, there were lots of so things. Many yeah, different yeah. Names, eh? like, but how did Frankie Valley get to sort of be Frankie Valley, and the rest of you just stayed as seasons? Well, well I, I said that to him. Tommy yeah. DeVito made Frankie Valley. I'll have you know. They're all criminals, and I was—I was, I was yeah. the, you know what I mean? I was the only one with a with a little bit of uh, education. Then I hooked up with Bob, who yeah. was a yeah. genius, and. Uh, well, we just got rid of the other two and just kind of went solo, yeah. you know? Yeah, I think it took them 10 years from the original. The first two guys to probably play together were probably Tommy and, Tommy. and, and Nick Massey, which is my character. And they went through a, a various kind of uh, different groups and configurations of different members. Then Lots Tommy different found hairstyles. Frankie and then Bob joined. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it took a long time. And there were spells in prison for both uh, Nick and Tommy. Uh, during that time, they were all heavily involved with the mafia and uh, you know money laundering and you know petty prost prostitution etc. And and their kind of their band was was kind of almost an aside for, for about eleven or twelve years until until Bob joined and then the kind of the real inspiration musical inspiration took over and uh, the, the show that, w that we do shows all of the the nitty gritty of the of their life story really mm. I and mean, the way it's advertised is very much um looks like a, a bright spangly musical which it is in places but it's also a very gritty story which is mm. which is mm. what interests us more than anything i think mm. Mm. and how did you each get involved i mean you're fairly if, if it's fair to say sort of west end veterans really i mean you've played we were just saying you've what frankie goes to oh. hollywood you've played the frankie rod stewart yeah, i'm putting together a frankie collection <laughs> yeah <laughs> looking for frank sinatra next <laughs> <laughs> really with the, the cherry on the pie but, but so how did you each you know to very briefly get 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 into into this the jersey boys because it's such a success yeah, yeah i mean um I mean, I was a, I was a musician for a while with with RCA, and then and then I got into musical theatre by um, doing Taboo with Stephen. Mm. Yeah, we did Taboo together, uh, the Boy George story, and uh, but before that, I was a classical singer, uh, and that's how I kind of got involved in musical theatre. But uh, I think we were all just we'd heard about Jersey Boys over on Broadway, and uh, uh, when we knew it was coming over, we just we're all called in for meetings, and, and it all worked out. The, the Broadway production team have been very heavily involved in in mm. your production, yeah. Is that right? Oh yeah, 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 it's the same production. And team. have you? 
Frankie, he's, have you met Frankie? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've hung, I've hung out with the Frankie and I've hung out with Bob. You've hung out with yeah. Frankie? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I hung out with what? the B-man. It was good. It was yeah. good, you know. Where do you hang? Uh, you know, we, we hung out in New York for a little while. I had a little lunch. It was good. You know, he, told me, he told me some secrets. You know, he told me how to blow dry the hair correctly. Really? How do you blow dry the hair correctly? Oh, it's, got to, it's got to be out It's a out, secret. Out, it's out, a secret. Out, out. Yeah. It's, best it's a very was, Italian way of doing it. He's still touring, is that right? Yeah, he's still going. And, and uh, uh, I think it was um, last year, you know, he had, a bit of a, um, he had a bit of a sickness, a bit of a heart problem and went in, you know, and then, and then jumped out of bed and went straight back out on tour. Mm. Managed to, you know, get divorced in the meantime and then, you know, I think he's, you know, can't stop yeah. doing it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, we One thing that sort of people do look very closely at when British actors play American characters is, is the accents. And your accents are very specific, aren't they? Yeah, it's New, New Jersey. Jersey, yeah. Jersey yeah. Mm -hmm. So did you get a lot of coaching for that? And do you have, how do you n yeah, nail that? Yeah, we had a great uh, dialect coach called Stephen Gabus who came over from America who deals with all of the Jersey Boys companies around the world. Mm. And, uh, yeah, he's very, very specific uh, about... You know, even the differences between Brooklyn and, and, and yeah. New Jersey, and, yeah, and he was just it, literally. And he, what he actually does is he speaks to you in your own accent. So he would speak to me in like in a Glaswegian accent, and then take it from there to New Jersey. So it's, wow. it's an amazing. Yeah, because actually, it's incredible. a different challenge yeah. for you as opposed to for you guys, and particularly you. Mm. Mm. It's, it's weird. Gabus looks like Mrs. Doubtfire or something. You know. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's right. yeah. he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a lovely man. <laughs> we we'll take another listen to you, Olivier Award winners. Let's listen. You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off of you You'd be like heaven to touch I want to hold you so much And long last love has arrived And I thank God I'm alive You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off of you Too. It was my favourite as a kid. I remember growing yeah. up singing well, that. When there were yeah. two phases of the, the four seasons, there was the sort of late 50s, early 60s, and then there was a lull, mm. it seemed to me. And then they came back, I remember him, he came back with the stubble and the longer hair. Is that right? Yeah, Bob had a great, like a, yeah. like a huge <laughs> weave at one point with this beard looking like an yeah, LDL. Yeah, they, didn't, they didn't make me have that yesterday on the show. Oh, there's the original. Oh, there, there, there they go. Yeah. That's top of the big pots, That it? must be early 70s. Yeah. Big collars. Yeah. 1971. Look at big collars. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Oh, my God. <laughs> there you are. Do you, you don't go that far, do you? You see, I would have loved dressing up like that. I love a good tash, yeah. you know what I mean? I used to be in a band called Pichy <laughs> Cabron, and I used to have a tash, and I used to, I used to do this big Mexican thing. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah I'd, I'd have loved that. We'd look great like that. <laughs> How was Joe Long and Charlie Colello for? Yeah. We're, we've just, we've, we've just um, committed to another year, because we, uh, we all get on really well, and it's a great show, you know, and the it's such a fa fantastic script and a great storyline that these sort of parts don't come along very often for actors, certainly actors that are kind of working in the music theatre. So it's great for us. So we've all committed to another year. So hopefully everybody's up on their feet having a good dance at the end. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I yeah. And I think as well, the first year was very much kind of, uh, you know, the work of getting the word of mouth around about the show. And I think the second year now we're going to reap the benefits of people mm. having come in the first year. And it was tough with the New Jersey boys. No, nobody really knew what it was, you know what I mean? Especially in this country. And, yeah. you know, being on Old Compton Street, everybody thought we were like four strippers. But, I mean, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's where it off now. Well, we're glad to have set the I record straight. <laughs> yeah. 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 We do, we do work on I think we should <laughs> get together and try and do Mamma Mia meets the Jersey boys and we, see we what we could, like, verse them, you know. Yeah. And there yeah. is an idea. We've got to leave it there, but really good to see you. Thank you very much indeed. Have, have a great day today. Uh, well Robert Wagner's here tomorrow. Marvellous. Yeah, awesome. amazing autobiography and many romances. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Very interesting book.